loosen the synchronization belt adjuster of the Y-axis first. Remove the screws that fix the heating bed and take it down. Note to collect the pillars under the heating bed and don't move them. Remove the ends of the Y-axis synchronizing belt from the slider plate. And then remove the Y-axis synchronizing belt adjuster. Remove the slider plate from the Y-axis extrusion. Fix the M410 screws and M40 nuts on the row connector. Attach the rail connector with screws to the Y profile, but only fix one side for now. Install the linear guide rail onto one of the guide rail connectors using M36 screws. Do not tighten the screws at this point. Use the position of the linear guide rail mounting holes to determine the position of the other guide rail connector. And install it in the same way. Only tighten the screws once both guide rail connectors are in place.
fix M3 16 screws and M3 nuts at the designated positions on the slider mounting plate. Only one piece, the screw faces the Y limit switch direction. Then fix the slider mounting plate on the slider with M36 screws. Remove the four POM wheels from the slider plate. Fix the slider plate on the slider fix plate using M58 screws. Pay attention to fixing the side with the smaller hole first. Y-axis synchronous belt tensioner back onto the Y-axis aluminum extrusion. And adjust the tension of the Y-synchronous belt. Mount the heated bed back onto the slider plate. Then, place the platform board onto the heated bed. 